What is up, Internet? It's your boy, Tinku. And today, we're doing a subscriber requested vid. Um, I was talking to some of you in the chats on some of my older videos, and somebody suggested this, this uh, title. So, before we get started, don't forget to like the vids, sub to the channel, keep hitting me up on the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and right here in the comment section down below. And with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. This one is a little interesting because it is actually a Korean web novel. Um, full disclosure, I'm not a web novel guy. I don't like hate the medium or anything like that. I just haven't found anything that piques my interest for web novels. And this is not even Japanese. It's done by somebody in Korea. But somebody requested it. So I said, yeah, you know, I'll check it out and tell you guys what I think because I live to surf. So. The title of this web novel is Can't See, Can't Hear, But Love. And I'm going to be completely honest right up the front, uh, right up front, excuse me. I'm not a fan of the art style. Um, I'm not saying the art style is bad, it's just not my cup of tea and what I'm into. I'm not a big fan of the page layout either because it's read from top to bottom, but it's a web novel, so I guess that's kind of common with web novels. I'm not too... Uh, familiar or even well versed in web novels so I couldn't tell you but I'm not a big fan of that panel layout I'm just so used to reading manga like I can't even read regular comics that well anymore because I'm used to like the way manga is read from right to left you know so it's just kind of what the you know what it is however it's a pretty good story, I'm not going to lie. There's 85 chapters, and I'm about chapter 50 or so. And it's pretty compelling. Um, a lot of drama, a lot of uh, a lot of emotions flowing. It gives you the feels. You get a little teary eye a lot. And so, it's, the story's pretty good. Um, yeah, the story's really good. So, basically, you have a manga artist. They call him something different in Korea. But... He goes blind because he spends too much time drawing and it affects his eyes and he goes blind. Um, his mother has dementia, so he has to put her in a home because he can't take care of her because he's blind. And he's pretty much give up on, given up on life. And then he meets a deaf girl <laughs> who is a big fan of his and his, you know, uh, manga or slash what they call it in Korea. It's a pretty, it's not pretty hard to pronounce, but it's pretty hard for me to pronounce. So I'm just going to call it a manga. And so basically it's about them, their lives together, them overcoming hardships. Um, he's blind, she's deaf and they meet and end up getting married. And it's about them taking care of each other. And they have flashbacks about right before they meet, like when he went blind and what he's going through and what he went through when he first met her and everything like that. And when he had to put his mom who has dementia in an old folks home and how he's barely scraping by. And so it's pretty heart wrenching, but heartwarming at the same time. What I do like about it, the, the story, it's a little rough structure wise because you know, it's a web novel, but again, there's a great story in there. And if you can get past the, like I said, some of you might like that kind of art style. I'm not a big fan of it, but um, if I got past that and I'm reading it for the story. And so there is a lot of great characters in there. There is his assistant that was his assistant during um, him making manga and kind of like a, a love rival to the deaf girl um, because she actually liked him, um, but she hesitated when he first went blind and kind of you know, skipped out on him for a bit, and she always regrets that because, you know, the deaf girl came in, and they bonded, and she started taking care of him, and, you know, they got married and stuff like that, so she's kind of trying to break him apart because she's kind of a jealous bee almost, um, but, like, you get her backstory, and it's pretty tragic as well, like, why she wanted to be, like, a, you know, a manga artist and things like that, and she kind of still works with him because she pays him to help out with her scenarios um, when she's doing her uh, manga the best character in this whole web series is a basically ambulance driver. Um, he, he, his backstory is great too. They, and that's what I like about it. They give everything a little backstory. And his backstory is awesome. He's an ambulance driver. Um, at first, when he, the um, 
guy first goes blind, he calls 911 or Korea's version of 911 to help take him to the hospital because he can't see or anything like that. And stuff's going on. And the guy's kind of annoyed at first because he's like, bro, that's not what 911's for. You shouldn't be using me for that. But then he finds out that he's the author of the story that, you know, he's reading. Because apparently that he was the author and artist for the, a pretty big story um, in this world. And he, when he finds that out, he instantly just keeps trying to help him and when you find out about his backstory uh the, how generous this guy is i mean it gets to a point to where like he can't afford his mom's you know care facility and so the ambulance driver is actually paying it in secret so that's why the facility never comes after the son and say hey you got to pay or we'll kick your mom out because the ambulance driver is actually paying for it in secret just to help the guy out and he always tells the guy you need a ride you come get me he, picks, he comes picks him up in his ambulance takes him to wherever he needs to go and stuff and then you know brings him home and he's always hanging around trying to help him out and this guy is just like he's the best character because he's just a really good character when you take into consideration his backstory what happened with him his mom you know and then how he is now and how he's such a nice guy and he's always trying to help people out and meeting the blind dude and finding out it's his author, hanging out with him and learning more about him, makes him an even better person. He starts helping out more people like he's helping out the blind guy because he's just a good guy. And he's doing like two or three jobs to keep up with money just to help out these these people that he meet. And he's not telling them that. He's, he's just doing it. And it's it's just really awesome. He ends up liking the, um, the assistant girl that's kind of the B that's trying to break up the blind guy and the deaf girl and the reason why i'm not mentioning any names is because their names are pretty hard to pronounce so i don't want to mess them up so um we'll have the pictures up so you'll be able to see that during you know the pictures we have up here and of course um there's these the president of this company that runs the um welfare center that the deaf girl used to live at apparently it's a center where like handicapped people could live and the, his company funded it, and he's the president of the company, and he likes the the deaf girl. But the gaf, deaf girl took off because she wanted to meet the author for that, you know, the manga or story that she loves so much. End up marrying him, fall in love, and so he's trying to break them up too. So him and the assistant girl kind of plotting together to try to get them breaking up, which is kind of tore up. So it's them overcoming that kind of stuff. And then of course there's a lot to do with the mom. Um, she plays a big part. She has dementia, um, very childlike. You know, and when he first goes blind, he's trying to take care of his mom and go to the hospital, and he kind of screws up, and his mom almost is poisoned, basically, because he didn't feed her like she normally does, and so it's just a rough, rough story. It, it's 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 very heavy-handed in the in the feels department, but it's good. And, of course, the last thing I want to mention is their dog. They have this little white dog, and even the little white dog gets a little backstory and what happened to it and how they find him, and it's heartbreaking as well. So I'm like, geez. But, you know, it's a good, nice, you know, even thing with them. So, like, all the side characters, you see a little story about them, which is good. That's why I like it. Um, the story is a little rough structure-wise, but it's a great, great story. Um... I'm at chapter 50 of 85, and the big question is, hey, Tenku, are you going to actually finish reading this? And because, you know, I mentioned I'm not a fan of web novels and things like that. But the answer to that is, yeah, I'm going to finish reading it. Um, I'm intrigued enough in the story to see how it progresses and how it's going to end. I know there's only 85 chapters, so it's 45 chapters left from where I'm at. So that's not going to be a huge time invest for, investment for me. Um, well, it will be, but I'll make it work somehow. <laughs> and I just want to see how it ends. Um, I'm intrigued. So uh, my first web novel that I've actually liked is Can't See, Can't Hear But Love. Um, real quick to recap, Cons is not a big fan of the art style, not a big fan of the panel structure, and the story starts a little rough. Pros is it has one of the best characters I've ever seen in the story. I love that the ambulance guy. You know, it's endearing, heartwarming, heart crushing. You know, but in the end, are they gonna be triumphant? I don't know. I haven't read the whole thing yet, so uh, you know, you guys, let me know if you have. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. You think I'm a crazy? Do you guys like it if I do like a web novel every once in a while if somebody suggests it? Again, this was a su subscriber requested video, so I just want to make sure that I do listen to you guys. And so I'm definitely willing to check stuff out if you guys recommend it. And that's why this video got done because a subscriber requested it, and I want to make sure that I can cover a lot of what's being requested while I still can. Like I said, the audience is small, but we are mighty, and I appreciate everything you guys uh, do for me with watching the videos and recommending stuff. So keep that coming. And with all that said today, guys, let's just go ahead and have an awesome, awesome day.